Okay guys, welcome back to a brand new video. Now today, this is going to be kind of the start of a little mini series. Whenever Ark bring a new creature to the game using the creature submissions vote, I like to do this, showcase some of the coolest creatures and all of that stuff. Now this isn't me saying what my vote is or anything. I don't want you guys to watch these videos and think I'm going to go and vote this because I want the creature vote to be fair. It's the only way, but I am just showcasing some of the coolest ones. Episode 1 is going to be a little bit different and I'm going to be explaining that why it's going to be different today of the first creature we're looking at. It really, really made me want to make this video and a big shout out to the people I am going to be making this video for. That'll all make sense in a bit. Now, if you guys do enjoy today's video, as always, make sure to smash that like button. It supports the channel so, so much. Subscribe if you're new around here and let's get in with the video. So basically I got a message and I don't tend to do something like this, but it just really sort of like hit me and I wanted to make this. And it was a message that basically started off with, um, hello loaded crisis. I'm writing from you all the way from Canada in hopes that it might, uh, you might be able to show off my new arc creature creation. I believe that it would be a game changer for players and it brings new gameplay elements like never before. I've attached a photo to my idea posted and survived the arc. Um, uh, while the photo is an illustration, I understand that the devs would have to make some fine tuning to its designs. My daughter and I regularly, uh, regularly, regularly, sorry, watch your videos. Um, uh, sorry, let me just read this again, just to make it better. It says, my daughter and I regularly watch your videos. And from what I've heard, you say you're not going to directly tell people which to vote, but I'm just hoping that if I don't make it into the final vote round, I could show you my, uh, to show my daughter that we made it onto your YouTube channel. Um, while I think it's awesome that you're making videos of new ARC creature submissions, thank you so much for making time to do so. Um, your fans, dad and daughter. And when I read that, I just thought I needed to make a video on this because like, it's so awesome to have fans from all around the world and just to like, you know, and I just wanted to make someone's day. So I really do appreciate you guys watching this video. And uh, and generally, I can't wait to read through this idea and uh, show, off to, uh, show off to the community. So you can, vote um for any creatures that you want in the creature submissions as i said i even even i wanted to make someone's day by doing this i'm I don't, i'm not saying go and vote for this if you want to vote for it and this is something that you like then be sure to go for it so um introducing um i'm gonna say buru i'm gonna I, I don't know if i pronounced that right sorry if i pronounced it wrong a giant snail of epic proportions new gameplay element um and there's some uh some a really awesome uh, picture design here as well so in Introducing the Buru, a giant snail of epic proportions. Uh, it has its scientific name there, which I won't say, just as I won't be able to pronounce that either, <laughs> um, that will revitalize the way you play Ark Survival Evolved. This colossal creature um, boasts an enormous shell that serves as both a mobile home and armored transport for players, offering unparalleled, uh, unparalleled protection and mobility. Imagine having a nearly unstoppable fortress with the ability to move around the map with ease now i wanted to actually show off the picture that was created for this because it is absolutely amazing um i just thought this design was so cool i know it's only obviously early days but the idea as we're reading through this just again really makes sense to me because when i saw it i thought this was going to be a saddle but the actual thought that this could be a mobile home which you can go around in with some protection sounds very 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 cool um once tame players can craft a mount that offers a trapdoor access into the shell, creating a fully enclosed and impenetrable armor, uh, armored transport. Uh, the shell is made of super hard material that is 10 times stronger than metal, um, making it an excellent defense against the mightiest of Giga attacks. Um, the large size, uh, the the large size of the brew allows players to craft a four times four foundation set inside, turning it into a very very like this sounds so awesome. Now, of course, not everything is gonna be you know like Wild kind of said they do take on everyone's ideas, but they won't guarantee everything comes to the game. But you will st still see points that Wild Card will think okay, this could actually make it in. Imagine having a fully equipped base with crafting tables, storage chest and even a bed for respawning 
all inside the safety and comfort of the shell. Um, if the in-game, if the game engine permits. <laughs> um, otherwise, its inventory system acts as a crafting platform and bed, allowing players to respawn back into it. It's the ultimate survival tool with all of well basically everything you need at the home at your uh, at home at your fingertips um but this snail isn't just a fortress on wheels it is also a foraging powerhouse it can forage berries and fa uh, thatch efficiently and over time its event uh, inventory also increases with polymer and random types of mushrooms um with your giant snail by your side you'll never have to worry about running low on resources again it's like having a portable loot room and you'll be able to gather resources more efficiently greater safety than ever before one of its special traits is its ability to climb any surface well nearly any surface including vertically scaling mountains or cliffs its large shell also allows it to trap lots of air providing the player with a week long duration of underwater seabed crawling um, adding a new style of exploration for players imagine being able to explore the depths of the sea without needing diving a diving suit or obviously another thing as well is being attacked by many i'm sure I still get attacked but having like a you know like a barricade around you it opens a whole a new world of possibilities and you'll be able to discover hidden locations and secrets that were previously unreachable for many players um so basically um anything just if you want like a simple thing about this uh, it serves as a mobile home and for pvp it offers a new attack to infiltrate even the most uh, uh defensive bases however only a single person can reside in it at a time um, with the giant snail, you'll be able to outsmart and outmaneuver your enemies and outlast them in the wild. Um, the giant snail is a perfect companion for players looking to expand their exploration and combat compatibilities in Ark Survival Evolved. With its unique features and compatibilities, it adds an exciting new dimension to the game and will take your survival experience to the next level. Get ready to dominate the game with your snail by your side. Um, so there's some pros and cons here. So some of the pros, mobile home and armored transport. Um, uh, tame the giant snail and craft a mount that offers a trapdoor access into the shell, creating a fully enclosed and durable armored transport. It's got a super hardened shell multi-purpose inter uh, interior uh, obviously you'll be able to respawn in there and it's in uh, and its inventory system also acts as a crafting platform and bed um foraging and in inventory increase uh, versatile movement and um perfect for pvp also and also just for you know and i think this would be great for pvp and pve uh it's cons uh, uh limited compatibility only one single person can reside in the snail at one time low damage output it does little to no hit point damage um large size um it's uh, large size may be difficult to maneuver into tight spaces slow movement it's a snail so it moves slowly um um move so underwater seabed crawling can be useful but also dangerous players need to be prepared for deadly squid attacks which can pluck the player outside the shell okay interesting so again this was the artwork for it and when someone puts in this much effort and this much dedication to a creature um, submission i love to be able to review it and show it off to you guys and a massive shout out to you guys for actually sending me this across i really really do appreciate you guys watching and lots of love to all of you so thank you for watching um i will be doing uh, lots of other of these videos Videos. as i said it's like a mini series um you can find all of these on the creature submissions page which is available um through forums and then into arc and creature submissions and there's all different submissions coming through all at once loads of different things are getting their votes in now um as you can see most votes uh and i'm very happy to see that this has actually got a lot of votes now um so we'll be reviewing all the different dinos as time goes on the votes are flying through now um so if you guys uh if you guys want to get involved make sure to uh make sure to do so so thank you for watching drop a like and subscribe and i'll see you in my next video